All right, uh, what's up, you guys? I'm going to do a video here uh, real quick. I've been meaning to get around to this. Uh, I see this on the news quite often. Uh, very laughable, but except it's no joke. Affluenza. A, uh, yeah, a kid like uh, a while back kills four people in a drunk driving accident. I think he was still underage or whatever, and I guess tried as a juvenile or whatever. But kills four people and then uh, does the affluence, excuse me, plays the affluenza defense, plays the affluenza card. Geez, how many privileged people can do that? And um, just like, oh, for, oh, the hell with the family of the people, the four people that were killed and shit. Um, but it turned out, I guess he violated the conditions of uh, his probation or parole, or whatever the hell it is, what it's classed as. A... So he runs to Mexico. He got family members, mother and everybody, running there with him. I mean, uh, I know people like say, oh, they got a damn motorcycle. I'm making loud noise while I'm trying to make it. Okay, where was I? Damn loud ass vehicle there making noise while I'm trying to make a video. All right, where was I? Yeah, like, I, if that was somebody in my family and all that, maybe they did it and they were truly sorry. And this kid wasn't. He thinks he's entitled. But uh, was kind of cool in a way that now you can't run to Mexico anymore, uh, even if you don't like Gallagher Jones and the whole theories and all that. Uh, the whole, if you don't like religion, but these ain't just theories anymore. It's, they're starting to ratchet down all that shit. You can't run to Mexico anymore. Even the old movies now that are outdated, you know, um, but it used to be true, even like uh, people like on TV, uh, they were doing this and running to Mexico or whatever. And I think you can run to still some of them other states in South America, I believe, but um, Mexico ain't doing it anymore. They can take your ass back you know, put you back, uh, send you back. But, um, yeah, I mean, I had a theory there, too. I didn't want to get off the subject, but since uh, Donald Trump uh, was talking about, you know, deporting all kind of people, Mexicans, I think he could have been more subtle about it. And uh, not like the way he was saying it. I agree partially with him, but not the way, you know, just the way he was doing it. He could have said it in a more subtle, like saying, oh, these ones... They're doing this, they got to go, or, yeah, if you did enter a country against the law. But anyway, I had a small theory that since maybe Mexico knows Trump, and even though Trump ain't even elected yet, or who, who knows if he'll get elected, it looks like he's going to, but I'm thinking Mexico is saying, all right, we're gonna, you're going to do this? Okay, anybody that's from your country, we're going to send them back to. I mean, I'm just guessing, but, yeah, that might be logical for Mexico to say, hey, look, we don't want any of your people run into our country either. We're going to send them back to the United States. And they should. Yeah, hell yeah, they should. But anyway, this kid uh, don't even feel any remorse that killed. he kills four people. All the hell he cares about is drinking and getting high Then he has family members helping him yet. Oh, that's, yeah, you get a mother. That, that's what gets me sick too. Somebody did something and maybe they're sorry for it. You can sort of try to work with them or whatever and give them conditions or something to re repent of what they've done. But this kid, no remorse, and then you get a mother that says, oh, it's my baby, he can't go to prison. Oh, uh, the hell with the four people and their families, that, the families of the four people that got killed in the accident. I mean, um, I hate to say it, if it was a family member of mine, shit, I'd be goddamn if I was a father or a mother and I'd be risking my ass and ruining my life to railroad a uh, a family member. Say if I had a son or a daughter that did that shit. Hey, they they uh, wanted to go running around drinking underage, and they go in a car and they wreck it, seriously injure or hurt anybody. I'd be goddamn if I tried to railroad take them and run to Mexico with them or help them uh, run and get my ass in trouble for aiding, abetting, aiding and abetting a fugitive and getting felonies against me. I'd be like, hey, you got to pay the price. Hey, I'd be like, well, hey, look at the, the people you get, you killed. You got to pay for it. You know what I mean? 
same thing uh, with me or you watching. You know, you're uh, say you even don't even mean to do it. You had a few drinks, you know, legitimately and had too many, and an accident happens. I mean, they're going to be looking to you. You you drive like an asshole. You know, I I uh, prefer to not. Well, me, I personally use a car as little as possible. Just go to work. It costs too much. I ride bicycles and do all kind of stuff like that. And shoot, I used to drive a car. You know, when I lived in uh, my old house, you know, for the family, the car was in my name for a while. Then we put it back in my mother's name, and then I end up not living there anymore. But shit, if I say I was still living where I was living, even though my mother is the way she is, that that we fell out and we don't talk anymore. If I was stupid enough to do that shit, I wouldn't expect my mother to go coming back for me and try to get me a lawyer. But, well, I, and again, I'm not in no rich, rich ass family either that can buy their way out of anything respectable. Rich, you, you know, the magistrates got the magistrates in your pocket. You got a fancy lawyer. And when you got, yeah, when you got a high paying lawyer in your high class, the lawyer, the expense of the reason why lawyers are so damn expensive is because, yeah, you can even kill somebody or whatever, and the lawyer charges so much because he has to, because he pays some of that payment to the judge just to rule his way. But if you got more than one lawyer against each other in a certain case, how the hell the judge works that, that's different, I guess. But I noticed that that method works best when the one person, the rich person, has the fancy lawyer and the other person don't. I mean, hell, you can do a minor offense, and if somebody wants to wrongfully prosecute you just on a vendetta, and he has a fancy-ass lawyer, he can sue you and get away with it, and, and you'd be in a big-ass legal battle, yeah. I hate to say it even in a good way, uh, how the system, one of the ways here I'm talking about the system fails, yeah, a rich kid doesn't even pay for killing four people. And then um, but you can be a person that uh, had something wrongfully done or whatever to you or whatever, or you do a minor offense. If somebody else got a better lawyer than you, you're fucked. You know, that's a different story. I mean, there's a lot of shit about that, too. But affluenza, my ass. I think, yeah, I, anyway, I, I think I was yammering too much in this video, but if you got this far, I personally think uh, not only he should just go to prison or whatever, they should have uh, somebody, a judge or somebody, turn the damn kid over their knee and spank them. It should be, and then it should be public, a national, international television event. Turn the kid over a knee and spank his damn ass until he cries. You know what I mean? Then they should have a part of court TV and call it Spank TV. Uh, video footage of people getting well-deserved spankings for doing despicable and idiotic things and uh, being humiliated or whatever they all do, yeah. But, um, yeah, these, yeah, these people are ridiculous, you know what I mean? How can they have even uh, ruled in his favor over that? I mean, four people get killed. Yeah, you know, yeah, oh yeah, it's one thing I damn forgot in this video too. I should have said earlier in the video because only a few of you people that know me probably get this far in this video, but I'll write it underneath in text in the YouTube video. The most important thing, the family of the people who died, those four people, should, and I hope the hell they do, sue him and sue the rich family of his that, uh, for the wrongful deaths of uh, their family members who died. Yeah, the family of the people who died should sue the parents of the damn kid because the kid obviously don't have the money on his own. And I mean, yeah, I mean, something is really wrong with this world and this system if certain people can pick and choose and um, because they got money and a fancy lawyer and they can rule a certain way. It took the life of four people and the kid just doesn't have to feel no remorse and just, just because they're rich in that shit. And, and you notice a lot of the people of other races and different things are going to be looking and I already see the talk already on the internet if you're white and rich uh, under them circumstances fuck yeah that's what it looks like and anybody in my town that's black and they say that I'm going to agree with them and and I'm not and I'm not even one of them people that uh, I'm an advocate uh, against uh, racism and there's this but then there's this uh, shit that defies common sense like Al Sharpton and 
Black Panther's talking about killing white people and things like that. But but uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, uh, there is shit that's quite obvious uh, among people like people like you and me that have friends that are of other races that are black and all that that are going to be talking. And you got to agree with them on there. It's like, hell yeah, he's white and rich. I mean, uh, except if it's like the O.J. Simpson thing. And I had all kind of theories of that on my own. Hey, if you're in, in a lot of cases, if you're anybody and rich, you can buy a fancy lawyer and get yourself out of things. So, But, yeah, that thing does apply here. But anyway, I'm going to cut this video short. It's uh, enough of this long jibber-jabber already, but... That's my take on it.